Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So, uh, boxing history was made today, man. Uh, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, he uh, pardoned the first African-American heavyweight champion in Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson was convicted in 1913 of violating what was called the Mann Act. And the Mann Act was basically someone who took across state line white women for immoral acts. And, you know, Jack Johnson was basically falsely uh, convicted of this particular crime and it said that this particular law was even made for Jack Johnson it was it was a racially motivated law that to begin with it was it was made to capture uh, African Americans or black men that was just basically sleeping with white women and this was a law that was enacted they used this to hurt Jack Johnson during the prime of his career when he was the reigning heavyweight champion and no one basically can beat him at that time and uh, he got convicted of this charge he tried to fight it but he got convicted of this charge man and he ended up doing all Almost a year in prison and when he got out he was never really the same of, as if you know before he went in man but this definitely slowed down jack johnson in his prime and uh it was kind of messed up when it went down now jack johnson was flaunting basically around to white america during a time when he, when it wasn't always cool that yo i'm gonna date and sleep and marry white women and and this was something that you know white america at the time they loved jack johnson on his way up but once he became world champion and he started to become a little too arrogant to some you know what i'm saying uh they use this in a way to and they basically couldn't beat him in the ring they use this as a way to bring him down man and um you know jack johnson married three white women you know so and it seems as if the mother of his second wife is the one that brought these charges on and it turns out they couldn't get him and it took a prostitute that jack johnson did sleep with i'm sure willingly uh to bring him down man she she cooperated with the justice department this was a deep investigation it went all the way through the, through, the, through the justice department and you know they brought down jack johnson man this is a law that didn't get overturned into the 70s man this was on the books for quite some time man and it was like i said before racially motivated just a way to use a way to get uh, you know black men that was basically sleeping with white women at that time man but you know it is what it is man a lot of a lot of black people at the time thought jack johnson was selling out and that's just being honest you know what i mean because he was sleeping with white women he was rolling with high society and uh, a lot of blacks you know they loved jack johnson's rise but once he got to the top and start doing things like this a lot of them felt as though honestly he was selling out man but you know jack johnson was a fighter man he was a fighter and I, i've covered this in previous videos he was a fighter to the bitter end the man fought underground fights he fought till he was a, a, a old man he fought to his last days man to the day he had that fatal car accident man and uh he was a warrior man inside that ring he was the first african-american heavyweight champion during his reign there was nobody on the planet that can beat him i mean during his prime he was basically unbeatable he toyed around with fighters and uh he, you know jack johnson man opened the doors for a lot of future champions in the future man but this was one of the ways that they brought him down and it's very unfortunate and it's good to see that you know many years later the history books are now going to have to change their narrative because if they mention Jack Johnson's conviction and they talk about his charges and you know and all of this stuff at the end of the story now they got to throw in there oh Jack Johnson was now pardoned of all of these convictions and basically he rests in peace as never being convicted or charged of this crime because he's been presidentially pardon this is awesome man you know congressman harry reed and john mccain who's uh fighting cancer right now man john mccain they, they've been trying to put this thing together since 2004 we saw the ceremony today man ceremony today they had sylvester stallone there who has been said to be responsible for talking to donald trump about actually you know doing this he's the one that supposedly called up donald trump and said man look this would be a good moral gesture for you to do and uh, people really appreciate this especially the boxing community man which we do you know what i mean so um, hats off to Sylvester Stallone for making that call. We seen uh, the American heavyweight champion of the world there. Bomb squad. My main man, Deontay Wilder, was there. Lennox Lewis, former heavyweight champion of the world, was there, man. And uh, they gave some good words, man. And it was good to see, man. If y'all ain't seen it, please YouTube it or do what you got to do. Maybe I'll put a link in the description where y'all can see that whole uh, press conference, man. And this is something that should have been done. And I'm, I'm glad it's been done. You know what I mean? So may he rest in peace now, man. Real talk. This thing uh, spans several presidents y'all several administrations man and uh it took donald trump to be the one to get it done i don't care about the motives y'all can talk about the politics all y'all want i'm just glad it got done 
Real talk. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man Made Man, Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. Yo, I hope people bring this to the forefront and talk about this, man. This is boxing history right here, Joe. Jack Johnson, now pardoned of being convicted, man. The first black heavyweight champion of the world. Man, they brought him down with this bogus charge, man. And now he's been pardoned of it. Good shit. So to the next video. Peace out.